New at 5 o'clock, families in Dayton, Liberty County are asking for change, alleging mishandled investigations by the police department in two separate crashes. 16-year-old Madeline Quiroz left paralyzed in one of those crashes. The driver, according to the accident report, was going at a high rate of speed, and family is alleging that she may have been under the influence, but police say they did not conduct a field sobriety test and won't give them access to the dash cam video. Today, November 19, 2021, 20, I have not been privileged to the body cam footage. Now I've been told that that body cam footage has been deleted. KPRC2 Bill Barajas also spoke with the second family who says they were just given dash cam video two days ago after waiting a nearly a year and a half for that video. Is that right, Bill? Yes, that's exactly right. And there's similar allegations from both families against the police department for negligence. No charges or uh, arrests were ever made in these cases. The most recent case happening in July 6 of 2020. The family, as you mentioned, just now getting body cam footage after asking for it for about a year and a half. This is Alyssa Salazar. She was just 27. I miss my daughter terribly. Alyssa died in July of 2020. Mom Amanda Morales says she was with an acquaintance who got behind the wheel and was allegedly intoxicated before crashing on Highway 146. She lost control. The car slid so many feet, rolled over three to four times and landed and crushed my daughter to death. What followed was allegations of a botched investigation where, according to city records, the driver was not given a field sobriety test. This police department failed us miserably, starting from the chief of police. In a report from then city manager Theo Melanson, deputy city manager and Dayton police chief Robert Vine did fail in several aspects. His own investigation saying that Dayton police officers failed to conduct field sobriety tests to determine the level of intoxication. It went on to say Dayton police officers failed to collect items at the scene of the crash, specifically bottles of alcoholic beverages and a plastic bag of marijuana. The conclusion of the report was that the city manager lost faith in deputy city manager and chief Vine. He was placed on a six month probationary period and his title of deputy city manager was pulled. And in July of this year, the interim city manager, David Willard, recommended giving Chief Fine uh, that position back of a deputy city manager. Because of that, families here are asking for the resignation of that interim uh, city manager. They are also asking for an independent investigation to be conducted by city council. Now, I uh, reached out to the police department. They referred me to the city attorney. The city attorney said he had no comment on this case. He added that the chief has since resigned. He's expected to take a job in East Texas. His last job, his last day here will be sometime in January of 2022. Live in Dayton, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News.